All right, so we got uh, one head for the 1915, the port work done. Finish the intakes up and uh, the exhaust. Got them blasted. Well, I got this one blasted. There you go. Got the chambers all done, of course, because we had to CC this one. But uh, that one should run real well. Should run good. I know the ports look a little large, but uh, Volkswagen's got a fairly short runner, so uh, you know the port looks large when you get the air to start moving in there, the volume of air you need to make the power. So uh, I had somebody ask me about some Fomoco heads, and uh, I've used a couple sets of those. I don't know why they never took off. You know, uh, CB Performance came out with their uh, wedge port, and it's. Uh, that head's pretty superior for an out-of-the-box head, you know, and it's it's comparable in price, so it sort of killed the market for the Fomoco. And I know they uh, they build some of their own motors, you know, so they use their parts on their engines. I know they are casted in the USA. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I've never heard any really bad things about them. Uh, most of the race guys are the guys that want to go fast. They buy the CB Performance, either the wedge ports or the... Uh, the super wedgies I think they call them they have the LS uh, springs on them and uh, they're about 1200 bucks and uh, with the titanium valves and all the upgrades and uh, you can bolt them on uh, you know uh, I guess a fairly used crank this at this time would be like a you know an 86 stroke or an 80 uh, 80 something you know big crank and go 12s you know right out of the box so some of the guys take them apart and do a little port enhancement and stuff they're a little choked in the middle of the port but they're pretty good right out of the box so uh that head's probably killed the market for any other head out there you know but the Fomocos, there's nothing wrong with the quality of them uh, i haven't heard any really bad stories or anything uh i don't like the mexican casting heads i don't have any right here to show you here uh, when they say mexico on them those uh seem to drop the guides out of them uh i bought a couple sets of them i haven't had any issues yet but scooter swears that they're bad so i'm uh, i'm waiting to get them back you know so cross my fingers so right now everything looks good got a single port head here went ahead and got a uh, another set of heads for this uh, 1600 motor i got this one head blasted i got one more to do got it all cleaned up uh this head looks a lot nicer than what we had. Seats are good. I won't have to put any seats in here. Uh, the guides are good. And uh, I was able to pick these up fairly cheap. And uh, they haven't been cut 60,000. So uh, we'll be a lot further uh, along with these. It'll be much quality or motor. It'll be a better quality motor, I should say. I like to talk English. But uh, yeah, so that'll speed the little single port 1600 build up. And uh, so we gotta get some studs and stuff for this one. I got my spacers, uh, they fit my jugs down there. So I got them on the jugs. I gotta put the rings on there, hone those cylinders one more time. And uh, this one's getting close to being done, believe it or not. So uh, yeah, so I looked at the flywheel. It doesn't look too bad. I gotta come up with a clutch and a pressure plate. And uh, we'll see what Scooter's got down on the pile down there at his shop. And uh, yeah, and then I need to know on the sheet metal again. You forgot to tell me if you want it black or the same color as the car. And if you want it painted the same color as the car, I need to uh, know the paint code. So what I'm planning on doing is I have this sheet metal out here. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to work outside, guys. So if it goes uh, blind, uh, you know what happened. But I have a, I have a Super Beetle fan housing out here, right here. And I was gonna uh, blast that in the sandblaster and put a used alternator on there and uh, make the motor pretty much complete. So I wanted to car paint that so it looked nice. And uh, the cylinder tens and the breastplate behind the pulley. So, uh, so yeah, so I need to be able to paint the sheet metal so I know, I need to know whether it's gonna be black traditional or the same color as your car you know co color coded to the car uh, and I think that's about it you know you got to make a decision on the valve springs and uh, the retainers and that and uh, I picked the spacers up today I got those on uh, the easy payment program yeah 
put it on my account account that I account on what is it put it on an account account that I'm broke so anyway he charged those for me scooter's a good guy and uh, yeah I got the other head right there and I'm gonna go to the beach with the family here for a little while and when I get back tonight I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock that head out and hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, well tomorrow we can't go down the scooters but uh, Thursday I'll have both of them ready to go down there and cut these uh, bosses here for the double valve springs and I have to cut these retain or the the valve guide down so we get the proper travel uh, when you put the high lift cam in there you have to cut the top of the uh, guide down so the retainer doesn't hit it so uh, we'll do all that we're definitely not going with a single spring I don't think you ready to go yeah okay he's gonna make some more wildlife videos for you I don't know should I take the camera of course you should take the camera I'm in my bathing suit okay all right guys